guys, guess what? Me and Puma adopted a dog. This is Kors. Thought you'd like to meet him. Anyways, let's get started. I'm starting off with Urban Decay Primer Potion and just putting that on my fingers. And I've already applied my full face of makeup, which I have a video, I think the one before this will be it. Then I'm going to the Naked 2 Basics palette and I'm taking this color Shone. It's just kind of like a... I don't even know, like a dusty color. I don't know, but it's a nice color. Let's go with that. Patting that all over the lid, and this is just going to be the base for what we're going to end up doing eventually with our eyeballs. <music> then going to Naked 3 palette, I am using my, of course, Nooner, because I use it all the time, and just blending that into the crease, and I am just using the brush that my palette came with. I actually love the blending brush that's on the other side of the dumb blending one. It's my favorite. Then going in with Factory from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm putting that in the outer corner making almost like a v-shape and bringing it in just to darken up the eye a little bit. Always brushing between to get rid of fallout because it does fall out quite a bit but I noticed that with all my eyeshadows so I shouldn't be complaining. I like it. Then I'm literally just blending. Blending my little heart away. That's really all I'm doing for most of this video is blending my heart away. Then I'm going in with... I don't know what this color is called off the top of my head, but it's the very, very last one. The purpley black shimmer color from the Naked 3 palette, and I'm putting that very heavily on my outer corner just to darken it up even more, because I like dark eyes. Because, yep, that's why. Naked 2 palette, and I'm using, I think it's YDK. YDK is my favorite color of the entire palette. Using a brush, if you're actually going to use this as a full-on eyeshadow all over your eye, I would recommend just putting it on with your fingers, but I have claws, so probably not a good idea to put them near my eyeball. Then going in with this Essence Stay No Matter What, like chubby stick pencil thingy. Um, I'm putting that in my inner corner. This was a going out look. It was Paloma's birthday. She turned 18, so we got drunk. Basically my life story. And I'm just heavily putting that in there, and I'll blend it out in just a second. Like right now, with I'm actually using a lip brush that has never been used before, and I'm just blending that out a little bit. So it's not so harsh and not so blue right at the inner corner. Maybe it fades out a little bit. It does what it wants, okay? Then using this Maybelline color tattoo, and I think it's just called teal or turquoise, I am just packing that on to the inner corner for a better color, using a tissue just to cover the rest of my face because this shit gets everywhere. Doing it for both eyes, I already went and did my eyeliner and lashes and stuff on the other eye because I wanted to see how it would look before I removed it all and hated it. Then just blending, th I think it's Whitey Candy with my lash line or something like that. Then this like no name brand called an Emerald Blaze. Putting that like directly in the inner corner just to like brighten it up a little. The Essence Liquid Liner, I use this all the time so you guys know this by now. And I'm putting that and just doing my basic wing I always do. Making it super dark. Cause that's what I like and I fucked up on the other eye. Can you not tell? I always get questions about my wing but it literally trial and error. Trial and error will save you. Using this Essence mascara, I, I don't know, I don't like this mascara. It's almost out. So I was using that before putting false eyelashes on just to blend my eyelashes with the fake ones. And yeah, so I just did that. Then I guess I put my eyelashes on already. But um, then I'm going in with this lip liner from Essence. I really like Essence. I think this is just called Nude, to be honest. I'm putting that all over my lips. Then going with MAC. And is this is the color. This is Velvet Teddy. Because I always use Velvet Teddy. And Velvet Teddy is my favorite. And fix my Cupid's bow. Then this Gosh... Um, lip gloss I guess you could say but it's like a very very high pigment lip gloss putting that on it don't doesn't have a color it's just nude this is the makeup look I'm absolutely obsessed with it it's a great going out look and it looks really good in photos so I'd recommend testing it out for yourself it's super fun if you like a pop color 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.